Welcome back. The eight-month-long dispute between a sidelined West Indies batsman Darren Bravo and president of the Cricket West Indies, Dave Cameron, has resurfaced. The long-standing on pass between Darren Bravo and the Cricket West Indies president Dave Cameron has floated back onto the front burner with news that a 50-overs practice match between the Red Force and West Indies has been called off. CEO of the Trinidad and Tobago Cricket Board, Suraj Raghunath, told TVJ Sports by telephone Saturday afternoon that the Cameron-led board has insisted Bravo cannot play unless he apologizes. The West Indies Cricket Board indicated that that. Um they didn't. They had a problem rather with Bravo playing in the game. Um, the match has, however, been called off because um, it was indicated to me in writing by Roman Holder that the West Indies Cricket Board had not gotten the first approval for the international team to play at the National Cricket Centre in Balmain. That it, and that was an issue. So as a result of that, the match was um, called off. The 28-year-old Bravo has not played for the West Indies since November 3 last year. The left-hander had his match contract for the Tri-Nation series with the Zimbabwe and Sri Lanka cancelled after making a disparaging tweet to CWI President Dave Cameron where he called him a big idiot. Cameron made it clear in a TV interview aired by Line and Length on Friday that Bravo must remove the tweet and face a disciplinary hearing before being allowed to resume his international career. Every day that that tweet stays up is an infraction. Uh, secondly, he needs to um, accept that he's done something wrong and then we can move forward from there. But, but we have decided as an organization, it came up at the board meeting, uh, we will put it in the disciplinary committee and let them have a look at it and determine, you know, if there are further action to be taken, uh, how that will go, and um, we'll move it from there. The West Indies are preparing for a one-day series with India, scheduled to bowl off at the Queen's Park Oval next Friday, June 23. Reporting for TVJ Sports, I'm Keon Rayner.